Hi everybody, this is Wanda Alger. You can follow me at wandaalger.me. I am outside in my backyard. I, like many of you, have got to get away from the news, mainstream media, uh, all the noise and clamor that's going on. It's just ridiculous. You, you know, you're gonna get, we're all gonna get burned out if we just uh, keep listening to all the lies. We've gotta get a clear head. And I wanna just encourage you because what we're walking through uh, is really testing us right now. But this is what I keep feeling and hearing. This election is not about Trump. It's not about the man. This is about triumph over evil. And it's about a mission. There is something so much bigger going on than just this election and just uh, beyond Donald J. Trump. There is a convergence that is happening that has been in play for generations. I mean, we are living, if, you, if we could back away from the hell that we're having to walk through and realize what is happening in the spirit, historically, the things that are about to shift, prayers that are about to be answered that have been prayed for generations, this is where we're at. We are walking in the midst of a miracle in the making, but it's testing us because you know, just like I posted on my Facebook uh, this morning, remember Elijah, you know, on Mount Carmel and prepared the altar. We've been preparing our prayer altars. And yet he says, pour the water on it, pour it down again, pour it all over the altar. And it was impossible. And this is the exact scenario we are being set up with that things look so impossible. And yet God is special at, at miracles. This is what he does best is taking us through the Red Sea doing the miraculous, doing supernatural things. This is what he is setting us up for. And so I just want to encourage you, I don't know what's going to happen in the next couple of days. You know, whether or not they, they call, you know, Biden, it doesn't really matter because I believe heaven has already settled the matter. Um, and for me, the reason that I can say that with such confidence is again, it's not because I love President Donald Trump. No, it's because I love God and his kingdom and I see what he's doing. He is exposing major corruption. And in order for that to happen, we're gonna to have to walk through a little bit of hell. It's, it's gonna be hard. And this is why we have to stand in faith, we have to pray, but we have to believe what God has said. Believe His Word. You know, I've been reading through the Bible this, this last year, and so there's always a little bit of Old Testament mixed in with the New Testament. And, you know, of course we're in the New Covenant and we, we can't draw all our lessons from the Old Testament, but yet, his, God's character has not changed. And time and time again, I mean, God took vengeance on his enemies. Those who opposed him, those who were evil and corrupt, he, he had justice. He took justice on them. God's gonna do the same here. You know, bad men don't win, not in God's kingdom. And this is what he is doing. And I believe President Trump, this is why he's in office. It's, it, it, could, it doesn't matter about his personality, whether or not you like him or not. You know, the, we should thank God that he's got the kind of personality that he does. Now, obviously, he's rude and crude at times. We all know that. But he is standing up, and he is willing to take down and to address, I mean, major corruption. We're talking about power. And I believe one of the major things that should unite all Christians in this is that we, we've got to see the curse lifted from our land because of innocent blood through abortion and through sacrifice. If you understand the spirit realm and the spirit world, blood has power. And I believe that this is the thing that's held back the awakening and that outpouring of the spirit that so many of us are praying for. It's because we've got a curse on our land. And yes, Jesus' blood set us free from the curse, but there has been a collective agreement in this nation that has sided with death. And this is what our prayers and our intercession has been nullifying. And see, this is what gives me such hope, is never before, and I really believe that it's because of this time in history, because of the internet, that we are so globally connected, and why this year, <laughs> as bad as 2020 has been, in this year, even because of COVID, it has linked us globally, even the body of Christ. There has never been a time where there has been so many national and international headlines where worship rallies, prayer gatherings, God's name has been printed, has been heralded through the news waves because Christians are rising up. Churches have been, the church has been rising up. And the scripture that 
I, and this is what came to my heart and what caused me to say this is not about Trump's reputation. Trump's, Trump's name is not on the line. God's name is. And in Ezekiel um, 29, when God was speaking to the prophet about what he did with the nation of Israel, he said, I acted for the sake of my name that it should not be profaned in the sight of the nations. I mean, if you're going to take, you know, take the, the attitude, okay, well, maybe Biden should win and, you know, he'll, he'll do his thing. Can you imagine what that's going to do to the global psyche? Because of all, all of the witnesses and demonstrations of faith in God, of prayer, of worship, and the words of the Lord that have gone out, if that would really be the case you know how many people are going to leave uh, you know just leave their faith prayer doesn't work god doesn't love us prophetic you know who are you kidding god this is for the sake of of his name and his glory and he has seen the people of god rising up and it has gotten heaven's attention i'm convinced of it and he's been preparing the way and so i don't care what the headlines say I, I know what the Word says, and I know who God is. And I just want to encourage you, do not give up. Do not quit. Um, stay in that place of faith. Build up your faith. And don't let the mainstream news determine your faith. They're not the Word of God. Um, you know, thank, thank the Lord there are some new news agencies that are, you know, out um, that are more legitimate that we can begin to trust. And, and I'm praying, I'm, I'm disappointed like many about Fox News and I'm praying for the few uh, bastions of truth that are there, um, that they can hold fast, you know, and, and that the Lord would just protect them, uh, because we we need the true, true prophets of the Lord and those who see what's true and good and just to to continue to speak out and speak up. So please be encouraged, and we've got to stay in prayer. And so if 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 you want some some resources you know, WandaAldrew.me, I've been putting out prayer guides in different ways because we have to stay in this place of faith. And again, it's not just the prayers we pray, but it's really the faith that we have, that determination to believe. No, God, God is who He says He is, and He's going to do what He said He's going to do. And um, so there, there's just two resources. One is making room for His presence. This is actually a 21-day community devotional. And I haven't highlighted this much, but um, it's something that I think would be very strategic for the next couple of weeks that we're going to be walking through because until the inauguration uh, is there's going to be turmoil and even even following the inauguration I mean this is such a major transition that we are walking through it, you know it's not going to be an easy fix actually I, I had to think about <laughs> like when you're on a road trip and the kids are in the back seat are we there yet are we there yet you know that's what I feel like within the body of Christ believers are like are we there yet we just want to arrive we want it to be done but unfortunately, no, this is a part of growing up. Our faith is being strengthened. And so we're going to have to walk through some things. So this 21-day this devotional, I mean, it's divided into three weeks. Humility versus pride. Holiness versus idolatry. Unity versus division. It's a way for small groups to, to come together and pray and fast. Uh, to search our own hearts. To, to continue to, you know, repent before the Lord and, and prepare the way for His presence to come. And then the other resources is um, these 12 prayer guides. I put them together, Securing Your City with a Scepter. These are the 12 prayer guides from my book, uh, Moving from Sword to Scepter. It's a PDF download from WandaAlger.me. You pay a couple dollars, but if you download it, you can make as many copies as you want. You know, pass around your prayer group, whatever. Um, we got to stay standing in faith. Do not be discouraged. Uh, and, and I'm serious. Don't, don't watch the mainstream news. Um, and encourage one another to stand fast because of the, the bigger picture. And again, it's not about Trump. It's about triumph over evil. It's not about a man. It's about the mission. And it's about our commission. Uh, because the greatest harvest that the world has ever seen is about to come in. Uh, we're going to see some miracles. We are a miracle in the making. So hang on. Um, good things are ahead. Amen.